Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Sea Sucker Rotopax tank holder. So this is a vacuum cup mounted holder that will work with your Rotopax tanks and makes for a quick and easy setup so you can get on the road. Now this is designed to work with your pre-existing Rotopax brackets. So make sure you have the mount as well as the hardware if you want to use this Sea Sucker product. So see how once you do take your tank off, it still holds on to your surface on your vehicle. So you have those two big vacuum cups, you have your Rotopax mount, and you have this handle to make it easier to carry around when it's not on your vehicle. The dimensions of this mount is six and a half inches tall by 15 inches wide. And that will help you figure out where you can put it Although also remember that you're gonna to have to account for the size of your tank. This design makes it very versatile for putting it wherever you want or need it to be. So maybe you don't want it up there on your window anymore. Maybe you wanna put it on your door or your other window or even on your roof if you really need to. This just has the vacuum cup so as long as you have this space and a flat surface, you're good to go. So this is designed to hold up to the elements too. So the body is made of a half inch thick polyethylene material, which is HDPE. And that means you're not gonna be getting corrosion or rust from the body. As for the vacuum cups, there's a lot of videos out there explaining the strength and the pull rating of those vacuum cups. They even lifted a car with this vacuum cup. Um, and it has plungers to just help you indicate if you have a secure fit or not. This does not have any locks on it though. So if you are concerned, I do recommend just taking it off and leaving it inside of your vehicle before you leave. Included with this are covers for your vacuum cups. When this mount is not in use, you also get a replacement plunger and some lubricant for your mount. Now, in order to install this, you are gonna need a 7 16 wrench for the hardware. Let's take a look at that. So the way I start is I start with setting up the Rotopax mount onto the Sea Sucker before we deal with the tanks. So just make sure you have all the hardware, the bolts, the nuts, the flat washers that is included with this mount. And then you just take this out of the box and get it set up. Line this up with the four holes and then drop your carriage bolts through. When you flip it upside down, you'll be able to put the flat washers and the nuts on. I use a 7 16 wrench to tighten those four nuts. Next, you're gonna prepare your surface. So I wanna mount this to our rear window. So we're just gonna clean that off to make sure there's no dust, dirt, and debris giving us a good solid surface for those vacuum pumps. So we're gonna attach our vacuum cup. So I like to just clean off the vacuum pads as well as add moisture to the ends or like the ceiling edges before I put them on the surface. Push on the mount as you depress the plungers. Keep going until you can no longer see the orange indicator. With those secure, just double check your mount, and it's definitely secure. We're gonna turn this into the open position and then put our tank on top of it. So you should just slide through, tighten that down. And just like that, you're now ready to drive. Always double check before you do drive that your tank is secure and that your plungers are fully plunged down and you see no orange indicators. Well, that's it, quick and easy setup. So hopefully this video helped you out with those different specs, dimensions, and showing you how to install this to see if it is the right fit for you and your adventures. This was a look at the Sea Sucker Rotopax vacuum cup mount right here at eTrailer.com.